The lab that you're going to be doing this week will have you recreate some circuits that you've seen in the past. A little bit more detail, but really same idea, circuit, uh, circuit design. It's also going to require you to have an understanding of equivalent resistance. So in case you forgot, we're going to do a quick little review in this video of adding two resistors together in series followed by two resistors in parallel. So let's begin. If we have two resistors, R1 and R2, and we want to know what is the equivalent resistance. So if we were to replace these two resistors with one resistor, call REQ, or the equivalent resistance, our equivalent resistance for resistors in series is R1 plus R2. We just add the two resistances together. Very simple, very straightforward. However, when we're dealing with parallel circuits, we know that because the current uh, splits, we have two, multiple pa uh, two different paths that can go down, the equivalent resistance for this circuit, in other words, if we were to replace these two resistors, R1 and R2, with an equivalent resistance, REQ, we know that REQ, and actually 1 over REQ, is equal to 1 over the first resistor plus 1 over the second resistor. Sometimes you see this in a little bit of a different form, and that is the equivalent resistance is equal to parentheses of 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And those two values added together raised to a negative 1 power. Really the same 